Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and today is Monday. You know what that means in my channel. It's Mini Monday Madness, where I do mini paintings, um, all kinds of mini tutorials. Could be mini. Pe I mostly do it on three by three size paper, but I could be on mini pads or whatnot. It's just you know a little thing you can do. Little paintings are fun just to get you started on you know creating. So today's mini is an ink and wash uh, robin, Christmas robins. You could use these for cards, ornaments, you name it. I go over the step by step. Uh, I'll give you a reference photo in the description box. If you're a Patreon member, you get the download traceable that goes with this. If you're not a Patreon member, um, if you, you might want to consider joining it. I have traceables, uh, reference photos, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays that are not on YouTube. They're pretty long um, and detailed. And then I have um, a live stream on the top tier once a month, uh, the third Thursday of the month, and a download for me on once a month uh, from, that I create. You can check it out up here boop, any second. Uh, yeah, it's a place people go, on, people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. So, we are going to get into Ink and Wash Winter Robin Birds. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm going to go over supplies. I have two pieces of uh, Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper, three inch square. Um, I have my Sharpie ultra fine point uh, pen permanent marker, my Princeton eight and four long round velvet touch series brush, my palette with my paints and I go over them as I use them. And uh, my water jars up here and paper towels. So if you, like I said, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable. Um, if not, I can show you how to draw this. I mean, basically I kind of took it from like an idea from like just a you can see tons of robin birds on the internet this is like one of them that's kind of cute um kind of where i got the idea from a little bit and you basically uh be drawing his little body so think of think of birds in terms of like you know shapes again so he's got this kind of like um i would say it's circle you can start off like a circle and then you would add like you know i always say bird circle circle but see how it kind of goes in a little bit so then you go like that for his body and you go like this right connect the two circles like this and then you would pull down here a curved line and down here for the wing right and then you put the beak and over here, like a triangle beak, right up, like kind of like a snowman head, but you know, you're gonna be erasing all this part. And then you've got the eye here. And you're just taking your marker and making all those little marks for the wing. Put in some of the feather lines. I wouldn't have gone this far down. And then the legs are just these simple little sticky kind of legs on a branch. So you erase all that. You can actually put a scarf See, rectangle, put a little scarf on him. But you can see a bunch of these Robin. I think I have a Robin tutorial also on my YouTube. I will kind of look for it. When you're going to see me draw the birds and you'll know how I draw it. So here's my, I got two of them. I'm going to draw them both at the same time. And then I'm going to fill them in at the same time. Kind of faster to go this way, you know. Again, just loose ink and wash. So again, there's that triangle beak. I'm going to get the little eye here and little dash lines for the feathers, right? And then you see around here, it's, it's going to be orange in here and gray out this way. So I'll do a couple of dash lines to distinguish the color break. And then I put the wing. I, I did my wing. I just kind of like winged it. <laughs> get it? Winged it. Um, Put the wing down here. And again, these little dash lines to indicate the separation of the color. You can get as sketchy as you want with this. And then this little feet. Going on a little branch here, just a little skinny branch. And I decided to do some greens with hollock berries. So I've got some round berries here. And berries over here. And then just, you know, a typical greenery for winter. Sketchy line down and these little sketchies. And we're just going to fill that in with 
green and some brown. So that's the simple guy. And then this guy decided, let's put him on a candy cane. Now I think I have many candy cane tutorials on my YouTube. You can just go through my, go through my YouTube page. You, you know, there's like a little um, search, little icon on the, when you hit my, just my regular page on YouTube and you just type in Christmas or winter and then all the videos come up for those particular uh, themes and you'll see candy canes and stuff like that. So I decided to put some fun on this one. Same kind of premise with the wing. See, so just make, really just kind of loosely sticking this wing in and his little body, his little feet. I put a scarf on him, kind of silly. Right, there's a little beak and a little eye. And again, just kind of like making these little dash lines for the feathers and we're indicating where the separation of the color will be, like the orange area and the gray area. And then I'm doing it for the candy cane. This is kind of fun. I like to do ink and wash. Some people don't like them. Other people like them. I think it's a great tool for doing watercolor because it uh, takes the pressure off just doing plain watercolor. It's kind of like paint by number. So if you're starting out See, I'm just doing little dash lines in here. Get a little more. This is when you want to use the drawing skills, right? You're going to add a little more of these feathers kind of coming out here and getting a little more, a little more distinctive. Not too much, though. And then when you're done with that, I'm just taking a little fun eraser here and I erase all the little lines. And then we're just washing color. So, you know, you can just do the same thing. If you find a cute little photograph, like I found this little photograph, I'm gonna link it on the um, tutorial. And though I changed like his position a little bit, I made his wing come out a little more here. I still use little funky little sticky legs. And you know, if you have a computer with programs, you can kind of manipulate them. You can flip it this way, that way with programs. Um, I did that a lot with sometimes with photographs. I flipped the photograph. But you can do that here. You can just trace him and flip it, you know, or if you want to trace him going this way, that way, you know, play it around with it. And then you're just going to add whatever you want. This has got some pine needles here, but I will, I add way more pine needles here. His eye looks kind of funky here, but you can always fill that. And then, so obviously you see grays, grays and orange, and then the brown and greens. So we're just going to play around with that. Nothing too special. I'm going to grab my number eight brush and we'll do a belly of his orange belly. So a couple oranges. I actually have brilliant orange right here, which is a great orange. Super bright though. So we want this toned down. This is like a muted brown orange. I'm going to add some burnt umber to this. You can make any kind of orange. It's so easy to make orange. Just, you know, got the yellow, cadmium yellow deep. I'm going to add some magenta or whatever red you have. So that's more red. To add more yellow, obviously. See so now it's yellow orange, and then it adds some with that burnt umber, and it makes more of a brown orange. Kind of what we're going for. A little yellow to this one. All right, you know, as long as it's orange, that's all that matters. I'm just going to take our number eight brush, and we're just going to loosely just kind of. And I always like to have my paper towel close by. Tap tap excess water. I tell people all the time, they're like, what do you do with the water? I just see I'm tapping. I realize I have a lot of water on my brush and I don't want to have that much water. You can get very expressive just kind of filling in the color here. Doo -doo. Now that's just one color. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and go in and add some other deeper colors. Same with this guy. Woohoo. Paint by number. See, I can do two at once. I'm multitasking. Rock and rapping. To so take off the excess and just tap it on the paper towel. That's all you do. 
uh, we can work on the red berries and the greenery. So for the greens, you know, when I mix my peacock blue with my cabin yellow deep to get a nice bright light green. I've talked about this a million times in my tutorials. And I can take that same green and go over here and add some Prussian blue. Make it a little bit bluer, deeper green. Get in a little peacock blue, a little burnt umber. Play around with your greens. Have fun with that. So I might go in and add some bright green and then some of the dark green. Just see, I'm just making those pine needles, kind of washing it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Going around the berries. I'm still using the uh, eight. If you find this cumbersome, just go to the four. Just kind of filling in this. I'm gonna add, you can go right ahead while it's still wet and just see I'm going to just tap in some Prussian blue. Go right around those berries. Have fun putting in the greenery. You don't have to do the same color of greens as me. And uh, for the stick, you know, he's just brown. I've got a burnt umber. I can add a little black or a neutral tint to it. Just make it like that. A little brown that goes in here. Just really simple. Loose. This is still oh, good. So we have one um, flat wash of this orange. I made that deeper orange. And we can go in and we can add some deeper. I'm going to take off some excess on my brush, tap it on the paper towel. See how I'm doing that? Put some deeper orange here. Play around with the guys and here. I know it looks like it has a bullseye. I'm going to go a little bit darker here on the eye. Keeping it kind of light and bright in the front. You can add a little yellow. So we've got the same one over here. Let's add some deeper orange. Right around the eye. Just like that. I'm just kind of just really just tapping it in. It's not really anything special. Get a little bit darker here. Maybe a little brown in this one. Playing around with this one. Okay. So I'm going back and forth. It's just more fun that way. And you can make the scarf whatever color you want. Since we're gonna do red candy cane, maybe make the like scarf the light green color. So there's no green on this side. So you have like a little couple of two little designs here. I'm just gonna fill that scarf in green. And then we can go on top of that with the darker green. I realize I didn't put the little phrase in the end of my marker. I can always add that later. Okay. Let's go back to this guy. So um, I'm going to mix up some grays. And I like to use this color called neutral tint. And then I sometimes use some ultramarine mix in there. So it's a blue gray. But you know, his body might more a brown gray. So I've got the neutral tint. I can mix some burnt umber in there. Play around with the grays. Be on the brown side, can be on the blue side. And I, I take off the excess. Do you know how I do I add more water. I'm going to start slowly adding the grays in. He's got more of a blue, bluish gray coming around him. So I have the ultramarine blue mixed in with that color. I'm going to grab a little more blue. So it's a blue and orange kind of bird. And listen. Don't mess. Don't worry if you like. Oh, the color doesn't look right. Don't worry about it. Don't fret about it. See, I'm just gonna go down to the wing here, and the body. I'm just gonna put some of the gray. Really watered down. I'm gonna add it in here, so it's much lighter than this wing. Just taking the same number eight brush. Just kind of pushing this paint around a little bit. You can add a little green in here. Blue. 
doesn't say you have to follow the rules keeping it all white. I made a little too much blue there. Go back and add some gray. The green from the branch out here. I want to keep it loose and fun. So it might look a little too bluish gray here. I might go back in and add that brown brown type of gray tone. Or even just go ahead and add some burnt umber right on top of it. See that? And it will change it. Just a little bit. Just add a little brown. And then here it's going to be darker. It's getting a little too dark, so I might lift up some of that paint. My brush, lift it, lift it, and see how I tap in the paper towel. I don't want it too dark. Kind of blend it in here. Okay, we'll move on to the other guy. I like to go back and forth. Once you have the grays, you must go back and forth, right? So again, this bluish gray tone. I'm gonna put up closer towards his face. And just play around with adding in the brown grays, blue grays, add some deeper gray, some burnt umber. See? Just playing around with the gray. And the wing. And you like to tap them in a bunch of different darker colors, you can actually tap in some more browns because you can see on the photograph here he's got a little more browns on the edge but you know like I said play around with cutting color see like I'm doing here I'm just kind of blending it tapping in different color and then on his stomach which is mostly white get it lighter gray just on the bottom here a little bit here and up here looking kind of cute right all right, let's work on some red. <laughs> we did our oranges. We can lift up some of this color here. You know me, I like to mix my reds. So I'll have my yellow here and I'll add my magenta. Make a nice bright red. Oh, I'm gonna add a little more yellow. There we go. Nice red. With the candy cane, I'm just gonna wash in the red color. And we'll do a little um, highlight with the blue on the sides of the candy cane. Actually, I realized I should have made the other sections red, but that's okay. Nobody's going to notice. <laughs> and, of course, do the red berries. Once you have your red, see, so go back and forth, and you know, you can get things done faster than just do one at a time. Especially if you're doing two coordinate kind of items, right? That kind of match. All right, got the red in there. Just filling it in the blank. Now this point, uh, clean up my brush. So you could take a nice blue. You can use the peacock blue or ultramarine blue. Maybe mix a little neutral tint, whatever color you want. And I just do a little blue on the edges of the candy cane to so indicate that it's three-dimensional and not two-dimensional. Give it that look and a little bit under his feet. Here. Just like that. The beak, you know, you can fill that in brown, black. Or you could use the marker. Same thing here. Brownish, black beak. Um, and now we're going to do like, we do a background. We could just do like a wash of gray, or blue, and I really want to add in his little phrase here that I missed. And you can use the marker. See, I'm like going more dominant with the marker on the edges in certain places just to highlight it. Don't be afraid to play around with the marker too, you know? And then so the scarf, you can put in that dark green that I didn't put in before. So I've got my Prussian blue with my yellow makes a nice deep green. And I'll just I'm still using it. I actually never used it before. I mention it because sometimes I do use it and sometimes I don't. 
And if sometimes I like to keep it super loose, I just use a, a bigger brush. So once, see that color is dried, you can go back in and add a darker color kind of off of it. Do some phrase. You know, like highlights like that. Don't be afraid to play around. Okay. <laughs> and now we're going to just finish up. We can add just like a nice little grayish bluish wash. Um, I've got that ultramarine blue, the neutral tint. Water this down. Don't want it too dark. I can even add another blue to that. Just change up the blue. Let me see how it looks. Mm, I didn't like adding the peacock. So I'm going to go back to ultramarine and neutral tint. Just water that down. Get it really light and just kind of wash in some blue around him. Really loose. Na, na, na. Play around with this. You can add, make it a little bit darker. It could be like a nighttime kind of color tones. You can add a little more grays. I'm adding some grays in here just to change up the color tones. Change it up a little bit. Can even add some of that bluish kind of color in here in between. Like that. This guy, same thing. I'm gonna have to water this blue down a little more. All you do is add water. You can put that paint right down and just go ahead and add some water. So I'm just filling this in. La la la. <laughs> I love the ink and wash. It's just loose and fun. And it's not intimidating. See, I'm making it a little bit darker. I'll add some grays. That would just punch up that candy cane more. You don't have to have them the same color tones. Get a little bit darker if you want. And then once this blue dries, we can go ahead and throw in some splattered snow. Make it a snowy kind of day. See how I made it a little bit darker with the bluish gray here. Like I said, I just want to really kind of punch it up. Can add a little bit darker in here. Play around with the dark tones. Go back on this guy and go and add some darker tones. You can keep it light and bright. You don't have to make it dark. Do whatever you want. Putting it around here. And I might, for the berries, since they look a little flat, go back in and add just a little deeper red on the back end of here on the left-hand side. I'm excuse me, the right-hand side. <laughs> and the same thing with the uh, candy cane. Take a deeper red. Be careful not to get into the blue and just add it on the edge there. Just a little wash. Boom. All right, guys, we're gonna wet, we're gonna let this dry. And we're gonna just throw in some snow and we'll be done. Okay, guys, for the last part of it, just get some white gouache. If you don't have white gouache, maybe use some white um, ink or use a white gel pen. You can't splatter a gel pen, but you can use it for snow. And you just take some white gouache and you splatter it in the snow. It's not cooperating. Here we go. Come on. This one's not cooperating. I'm gonna add more water. It's gotta be pretty loose the water. There we go. Isn't that cute? And then we got snowy, cute little robins. <laughs> so this would be great for Christmas cards. You can throw it in those little framed ornaments you see in um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Be a great gift to give to somebody. Um, yeah, play around with it, guys. Make them bigger, whatever. Um, you know, I didn't fill in the. You can go in and fill in the wing here, on the right. 
like I said, with some deeper color. I didn't really do that, but you can go back in and just kind of tweak it a little bit. A little bit of a darker color here. Play around with it. Have fun with it. Don't stress out. Supposed to have fun. <laughs> and listen, if you don't want to use your nice paper, like practice on crappy paper. And then when you get good at it, then you go on the nice paper. So that's that's my little words of wisdom. And if you want it to make it look like the snow is really on the branches, you can take some of that gouache. It's kind of like, woohoo, snow has been on the branch. See, add that. Kind of cool, right? Anyway, have fun, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, and take care, and I'll speak to you soon.